What's up guys? I'm Cheyenne, that's Hot Book Girl. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing some Kindle Unlimited authors I want to try. As most of you know, I read a lot of books for free on Kindle Unlimited. I am obsessed with Kindle Unlimited. I feel like it is the best deal if you read at least more than five books a month. It's $9.99 a month and it's a subscription service through Amazon. It's well worth it in my personal opinion. I read you know, between 20 and 30 books a month. So it works for me. And there's a lot of great authors on there, but there have been a lot that I wanted to try recently. There are a couple that I have tried one book from them and I didn't really have the best luck that I am planning on reading again. But the ones that I'm gonna share today are ones that I have never read any books from them at all. So I'm planning on it. And these are ones that I'm hoping to put on my TBR, especially for August. Hopefully I can get that um, sort it out and try some of these new authors. So the first author I want to try is S.J. Silvis and I have seen her books going around everywhere. From my understanding they're a little more new adult. I know she does write a lot of high school bully romances which for some reason lately I've been finding myself in the mood for bully romances. I think as we're getting closer to fall I'm craving more dark romance. So bully romances are normally something that I like in that genre as long as it's not terrible. I don't know. I, I do have limits and that's why I kind of get nervous going into bully romances because I don't know what to expect or how the author is going to take it. But S.J. Silvis is an author that I have seen everywhere. I've seen everybody talking about her books and I'm really intrigued by them. I have a notebook here that I write everything down in but she does have a series out right now called the English Prep Series and the first book I will put everything up on the one of these sides <laughs> so you can see it but the first one is All the Little Lies all the little secrets, all the little truths. And most of them are hate to love, enemies to lovers, like they're normal bully romances. So I have heard really good things. And she has put teasers on her Instagram page of like, you know, little quotes and stuff like that from her books. And I'm like, wow, that sounds really good. That sounds really good. And most of her reviews on Goodreads are over 4.3 star reviews. So that just makes me want to read her even more. She's gotten a lot of hype. So I'm really excited to try this. She also has a series called the St. Mary series. The first one is Good Girls Never Rise, Bad Boys Never Fall, and Dead Girls Never Talk. Um, like I said, I, I really do hesitate with high school romances. I feel like I'm just beyond that. And sometimes I'm like, well, I guess when I used to read them, I didn't really think that. But now I'm thinking you're 17 and you're in a reverse harem relationship. When I was 17, I didn't even know what I was eating for lunch that day. So that was the last thing I was thinking of, or I was afraid to even kiss a boy. Actually, not really, but like, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like the last thing on my mind was, oh, let's have a poly relationship together. But you really have to suspend your disbelief, I guess, and just kind of go into that world with zero expectations and zero judgment. And I am, I am 1000% able to do that but I really have to be in the mood for it. During the fall is normally when I'm in the mood for dark romances. I've been reading a lot of contemporary and indie romances lately, so I don't know, I'm trying to get myself ready for the dark and mafia section that I'm gonna be in soon, so we'll see. I really wanna try her. I also wanna try Nicole Fiorina. Fiorina, I'm probably butchering that. Um, this author specifically, I have seen like in the bookshop pages where people are recommending authors that they want to be in book boxes. She is almost one of the number one authors that is recommended. And the only series that I've ever seen by her is the Stay With Me series, which Jess from Honest Fiction, she just recently read that series and loved it. She has been saying nothing but great things about it. So that made me want to try it. But now I want to like go back and look at the rest of her backlist. I don't even know how much of a backlist she has. But the Stay With Me series is Stay With Me, Even When I'm Gone, and then Now Open Your Eyes. Um, I think our heroine in this is like in a mental hospital or something. And I don't know if she falls for like a counselor or a therapist or if it's someone else that's in the facility with her. I'm not really sure, but I just know that Jess raved about it, loved it. I really do trust her judgment on books, so I'm definitely gonna check this one out. Um, if you guys actually have any other recommendations by Nicole Fiorina, please drop it in the comments and let me know ones that you've read by her other than these three that I listed that you guys like. I'm really intrigued by her and I'm definitely gonna check her out. All right, the next author I want to read is S.U. Tilly. S.U. Tilly, I think that's how it sit. I don't know. I don't know what that stands for. I don't know if that's a pen name, but supposedly these books are super spicy, which sounds perfect for me. There's a series called the Sin series. The first book is Mr. Sin, Miss Sin, and then Sin 2. 
It's a one night stand billionaire romance. Also, there's a Sleet series and I think that's like a sports romance one, hockey or something. I don't know. I've just been seeing these books going around a lot and I've never heard of this author. So it sounds good to me. You know, I love a good spicy romance. Can't be bad. This has been on book talk, Instagram, all that. So I'm gonna try her. All right, and the next author is Honey Chanel. Okay, my friend Jess from Peace Love Books, she read a book by Honey Chanel. I can't even remember which one she read. And I think she said she liked it a lot. Most of her books are novellas from what I'm understanding. I could be wrong, but she writes a lot of sapphic romances. I have read maybe one or two sapphic romances. So I'm trying to read more of them and branch out a little bit. So one of the first ones that she wrote is Don't Tell Me No. And I think that's in the Forbidden Taste series, which must be like a couple i don't know if it's the same i don't, i don't know see i'm acting like i know i don't know that's why i want to read these authors yeah that's all i know i want to try more sapphic romances out because i feel like i haven't read enough of them so i'm planning on doing that i'm probably going to start with don't tell me no and then maybe go on in the series i know mckay from oh hey it's mckay i know she read like a maid one by her i think i don't even remember the name of it but i'm gonna have to look or i'm gonna have to ask her all right, and the next author I want to try is Willa Nash. Willa Nash is actually Devaney Perry's pen name. And my friend Tori from Novel Life, she has been talking about the book Ivy. That was her favorite book that she read in June. And I actually picked it up to read it on Kindle Unlimited. It's a huge book. It's a college romance, but I think it's following a couple different heroines and like their independent relationships. So I don't know a whole lot about it, but I know it's supposed to be like it sounds like some type of like confessional type of group that you have to be in where they play these games and it's like you live or die. I, I don't know. It sounds really suspenseful, but I picked it up on KU and I started to open it to read it and it's in third person. So the first thing I thought was, okay, Tori really liked this. I really want to read it. It sounds really interesting. So I think I'm going to try to listen to the audiobook and see if that works better for me. I don't read a lot of audiobooks, but I feel like with this one, I actually can understand audiobooks better when they're in third person too. Like I've read a lot of historicals in third person. So hopefully I'll be able to read this. I figured I would just put it on and like get some cleaning done or something and then hopefully um, get it done that way. But I have a feeling the audiobook is gonna be really long. So I don't know, but I know she has written other books under her Will and Ash pen name. So maybe I'll check those out as well and then see if she has written those in third person too. All right, and the last author I want to try is Odette Stone. Um, Odette Stone writes a lot of hockey and sports romances. There's one romance specifically that's called the Vancouver Wolves Hockey Series. Um, I want to read Puck Me Secretly and then Home Game. Puck Me Secretly, I know Jess from Peace Love Books just read that one. And what's funny that she even said that to us because it's been on my TBR for a while, but I, I've never read anything by Odette Stone. So I was like, okay, I love hockey or I love sports romances in general, baseball preferably. Hockey romances are one of my top for sports and I've kind of been in a sports romance mood. I almost thought about rereading The Deal because that's one of my favorite for hockey. Even though it's not super heavy on the hockey, I still really enjoyed it. So I don't know. So Puck Me Secretly, Home Game, and then she also has a Mafia series, which I did not know. So evidently she's not all sports romance. And she has a Navy SEAL series, which I don't particularly like military romances. So I don't know how strong it is on the military. That's just not my favorite thing to read about, but I'm willing to give it a try. She has evidently wrote some really great books, especially in her hockey series. All of my friends have loved the books that she's read by them. Her reviews on Goodreads are super high and really impressive. So I'm definitely gonna check her out. I actually have a sports romance recommendations video coming next week. So hopefully I'll be able to get one of these books read that way I can give you a good recommendation for that. All right, so that's all I have for the Kindle Unlimited authors I am planning on trying, hopefully soon. Please let me know in the comments below an author on KU that you love, that you think I should check out. I'm always wanting to try new authors. I'm always wanting to find new indie authors that are on KU because I feel like they deserve a lot more recognition than they normally get and I wanna be the one to help them. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.